Hey guys, Jagged Cake Minecraft and Lego here. Today I am doing another video course, and today I am going to do update number five on the Lego Minecraft world. And yes, the world has <coughs> kind of changed a, a little bit. Um, yeah, it looks nice as right now. And yeah, there's gonna there's no shout outs right now because I already shout all you guys out. But if you guys want one, just comment in one of my videos that maybe have comments on. Because in some of the ones that have comments off, they're either just because of the cop I think or I just disable them. <coughs> but yeah, I think um, there's right now really nothing to see. I did change a lot in the world, and it's all different. And it's pretty much filled up all of my table now. And yeah, it looks really nice. I like it a lot. We're also going to talk about the nether over there, but. Um, yeah, but I think without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and, uh, get into the video, or the world. Let's go ahead and do it right now. I'm going to start in the most updated kind of area where I have new builds from the crafting box set. Like, I have this jungle tree here, and also this house here, and also this build here, and also there's a little tiny Minecraft solar fish, if you can't see it there. And also this built here with the creeper, where, they, where you have this cool play feature. Like that. And you can even just knock down something, like I just knocked down the dragon slayer skin from the end battle. Um, so yeah. I'll just probably um, get back and then uh, put her back on that area. Okay, so I put her back up there, the dragon slayer. And also, if you want to see my end battle review, I can also talk about how you can get that skin on Bedrock Edition. It's pretty cool. I already have her. Anyways, the next area. Um, so, I didn't talk about this much of the area. You have a nice looking diamond ore right there. And also, there's some gold. You can't really see it, but you can see a little bit of the gold. And then also, you have some pumpkins. And then the small slime. And also, the jungle tree here, this is a new build. This is from, I think, the Grey Horse build from the crafting box. And it's also right next to the mine and farm cottage. But um, here's the mine itself. As you can see, it's a little different because um, I have it connected to this water area in the mountain cave. I like it. It looks nice because you have it just coming out from the waterfall. And you have like two waterfalls going in this water, so it's pretty cool. And, yep. Also, the cave is right here. And in the cave, um, there's some ores, of course, and some TNT. And also this top area where that um, little skin there is say that night skin. Okay, next up, the farm cottage. Um, it's kind of hard to see because this sheep statues in the way so from the wool farm but i think i can try to get the best angle so yeah, you have steve here with um, the rabbits and then also the donkey yeah that's cool and also you have all your banners and stuff like that and even also this big cottage house. The thing I've updated is just adding another hay bale inside of the bigger kind of roof. So that's pretty cool. And also that name tag chest where you have this anvil, anvil here to do that. <clears throat> Alright. Let's move on now to the waterfall base. This Alex, Alex fell, so I just put her back up there. Also, you have a zombie here with this pickaxe there. And then also you have the cyan, or cayenne sheep, however you pronounce it. I just pronounce it, um, cyan. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, he's right there on the waterfall base. And the waterfall base does have its own waterfall going into this water, kind of going into a river, turning into an ocean. 
in this area in front of it, you can see Alex is on this birch boat going to the melon farm where this villager is. It's cool how they have these printed pieces with melons and also the nice looking character that you can put in. And this and this printed banner. Those carrots are kinda like the same thing in the farm cottage where they come out of those holes. So let's just put them back in there. And the rabbits might want that, so you can see them right there. <clears throat> also, I don't know if I've ever given you a close-up of the baby rabbit because I haven't had it in the Minecraft world for like a year since like the last time I had or something like that. Or no, like not since like 2018, but I'm starting to have it this year now in 2020. So he's pretty cool. So let me just put him back there. Also, there's a little pig right there, kind of hiding behind the chicken coop, which is right here, with also your chickens here. And then you have your tamed wolf and then Alex here, with also some like a chicken leg on that furnace. Looks like it's cooking. And, yep. <clears throat> also, you can see a little bit here in the skeleton attack. You can even see a furnace and a crafting table through there. Also, here's the turtle. And here's also the pirate skin. Looks pretty nice on the pirate ship here. And also, if you want to see more of the pirate ship, go ahead and watch the pirate ship adventures review. Or adventure. This area here has a skin here, like a, some kind of knight. I don't know if it's a knight, it's just some kind of skin there. Also, you have a dolphin here. Then what keeps coming back and going out a little bit of the world, the Mushroom Island. Um, you have, of course, the mushrooms here, like you have the big adult mushroom, and then a little tiny baby right there, which looks pretty cute. But, yep. What's also more cuter is the, or it's also more cute, um, are the pandas. The pandas, of course, can be in different positions, so like that. I like them kind of a lot because, like, you can just move them or something like that. That's how they made them. Also, here's the ocelot there. Also, Alex is on top of this bed with this cake. It's pretty much just the same thing the panda nursery has right now. And it's in front of the big ginormous mountain. And it's, front, it's in front of the big ginormous mountain cave, as you can see. So, yeah. It's hard to kind of get like a full angle of the set because it's just because of how huge it is. Of course. Yeah. Um, pretty much it's been the same. I really haven't changed anything to it, so we'll just press skip all that for now. But, yeah. The Taiga Adventure, I just added a zombie on fire here. And yeah, also the wolf and fox are just in that, in this area. Also, I put another zombie on fire, because you can get these fire pieces in the Taiga Adventure set and the Pirate Ship Adventure set. Also, there's an Enderman right there. And the skin is right here. The zombie is not on fire because he's wearing a helmet. Because if zombies are in water or wearing helmets during the day, they would not burn. If you didn't know that. Because I play Minecraft a lot, that's why. Alright, this area has a pillager course in the pillager base. Which was actually my most recent video. And yeah. Also, by the way, on the day I'm going to post this video, um, there's actually going to be a Q&A video, but it won't have noise because... I just don't want my comments to get turned off, so yeah, you guys can go ahead and watch that video, but yeah. <coughs> oh yeah, also we forgot to talk about this build here with the cows. Just a little fence here, with also some water. Yeah. Also, this is one of the new sets I got, or it's not a set really, it's just a poly bag. Like a little tiny poly bag set, it's called the Skeleton Defense. I will review this sometime, not too sure when though because it's really small. But yeah. Anyways, we also have this tent here with a guy in it, or just someone, uh, just a skin. And here's the iron golem cage. I really don't have anything in the cage. But that's just what it looks like. It's just all empty because I have both iron golems here, the old one here, and then also the new one that came in the pillager elbow set. And also you have your sheep here, all by this. Cool looking night skin killing this uh, pillager and he actually freed the golems out of the cage because it just explodes them with the TNT. 
Also, if you want to see more of this, then go ahead and watch the pillager. I'll post review. And yeah, also, here's the pillager, of course. Yeah. Um, also, the little tiny hill here. I don't know if I talked about it yet, but it's just sitting in this area. So, yeah. The first night, um, like, you have your creeper here and Steve and the pig. Um, nothing's really changed in the first night because, well, I've had it only for a while, so that's why. Yeah. Alright, also in the skeleton attack set here, um, I just have Steve battling a bunch of skeletons. Oh yeah, also there's an Enderman hiding there. I think, um, we've pretty much talked about everything. And the, in the overworld, I just forgot about the nether, so we'll just leave that right now. Yeah, I talked about something twice, just I hope I didn't do that, but, yeah, but that's all the overworld, I think. I hope I didn't miss anything, I'm just checking. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I forgot anything. Um, yeah. I think we're just gonna go ahead and just skip everything else that has been here a lot for a while. Um, yeah. But, um, I think let's go ahead and go to the nether area, which is right over here. So let's go ahead and start, of course, in the nether portal, where you have, like, Steve in his nice-looking minecart with just, with, like, with all his armor and also his sword and shield. Also, the skull arena's right here, if you didn't know. Well, so the skull arena has this cool, I think, arrow feature. I don't know where it's at. Hold on. If I can get it. I don't think I could, really. Oh, yeah. If, if I just grab this here, and then if I push it in the Technic piece here, right here, then the um, arrow will shoot out like this. So there we go. It's just kind of hard to do stuff with one hand because I have to carry the camera on. So there we go. Anyways, moving on. We have, of course, the nether forest here. Also, you have some of the baby magma cubes here. Also, the gas is right here. The disc shooting gas. You have also all the other mobs in your nether forest. Also, here's the nether fortress with some other unique things. Also, the lava features, they still work good. And look that and the nether portal here. And also, the bastion. This mock I haven't reviewed and I've had it for like almost a month, but I know I haven't reviewed it. I will, I think, in one of my next videos. But yeah, also, the pigment is still in there. As you can see, so you can see him right there. If I can get a good light shot, there we go. And yeah, also some of these pillar stuff, and also the big ginormous pigment thing here, the big statue. Comparing it to a gas, it's pretty huge. Look at that. You might think the gas is pretty big. Well, that's what the bastion looks like compared, or even compared to all the other nether stuff. Yes, it's pretty huge. So just to tell you that. But, um, I think what I pretty much talked about everything now in the nether. And yeah, I think now we should go back into the overworld. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so now we're back in the overworld. Um, yeah. I think I've pretty much now talked about everything. Um, I really haven't talked about that much in the mountain cave because, well, I've had this set for a while. Also, very soon, I think I might do another review on the mountain cave, because last time, um, the other kind of one, because that was back then, 2018, when I didn't have that many subscribers, and so nobody watched those videos. It only got a few views, so, so just, I might make another one if it doesn't get any views, if that other review doesn't. And by the way, the back then, I couldn't even record past 15 minutes, and now I could, and we're about, like, 14 minutes in this video, but, yeah. Anyways, I think... Now, I've talked about everything in the world. So, yeah. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like on the whole table here. Yes, it is really huge. Um, yeah. But anyways, guys, I think that is pretty much the end of this video, guys. So, yep.
comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. So, anyways, guys, goodbye for now.